you guys. Thank you for coming back to another week with the Ben Wagon here with your boy E Dub. Of course, you got Velo over here, Vladimir Komen. I uh, just wanted to talk this week about a little about the NFL season and our predictions. We we're um, a little bit over halfway point of the NFL season. We just want to get our midseason uh, kind of predictions on the NFL and how the whole playoff things are going to go. Kind of see, of course, what teams are not going to be going to the playoffs a little bit right now. But let's just go into a little bit of our prediction. Blaz is going to be doing the AFC, and I'll be doing the NFC, and we'll, of course, discuss it out. So I'm just going to bring you my predictions for the AFC. Take a look what I got right here. I got the Chargers going against the Patriots. And the uh, Patriots going to win that, of course. Then I got some of them down. The Texans versus the Steelers. That's what I'm still contemplating. I'm still contemplating who's going to win that. Against the Steelers? The Steelers. Oh, okay. I'm going to roll with the Steelers. That's look all right so far, man. Looks all right. So then we got the Patriots versus the Ravens. Whew. I can't put any money on this one, but I'm going to roll with the Ravens. Boom. And that's what I'm going to have to put another upset in there. Nobody else might pick this, but... Bills and the Ravens and the AFC Championship. And I'm going to bring in the Ravens for the AFC Championship. Let's do the NFC. What you got for me, son? Uh, NFC. We got some new characters up in here that we never expected. <laughs> we got some teams that's coming back and some teams that just won't lose. <laughs> <laughs> so, for my board, of course, I got Green Bay in. I got New Orleans Saints in. I got... The newly, the probably this decade, first time ever in the playoffs. This Detroit decade. Lions. Or, of course, in the last 11 years. D-Town. I got Cowboys <clears throat> slipping in somehow in the same division with the 49ers, of course. I'm sorry, it's a little different division. Then you got the Eagles. To start off my playoffs, it's going to be a nice, nice, nice game. I'm going to have Philly playing Cowboys. The Cowboys. They got an interdivisional game. <sighs> of course, I got the Eagles beating them. You got Michael Vick. You got you know the defense. Sean McCoy, the reason why they're down so low right now is because, of course, their record right now is in four. But I think they could bounce back and get some good wins. And they just, will bounce back. They, There's no thinking about it. Hold on, we right. can discuss that after my turn. <laughs> 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 then you got Saints and the Lions. Hmm. Hmm. I hate the Saints, so I'm going to go with the Lions. I hate the Lions. They're in my division, so I'm going to just say let them get their win out the way and put them up there. I just did that to get this matchup right here, Green Bay versus the Lions. It's <laughs> a hell of a game right there. Not really. Green Bay. <laughs> 49ers. You got 49ers and uh, in, in the uh, Eagles. Eagles. Uh. Don't do anything silly. All right, there you there. go. There you go. And so I'm undecided right now. I'm going to have to, you know, I hate Green Bay, but we're going to have to be realistic. Um, Finish that off for you, son. I don't know the record of three or four teams going all the way to the Super Bowl and winning. So <laughs> I'm going to have to get them beat by Green Bay right here. Because I have to go this way with it. Then you got the Packers versus the Ravens? Yep, I got the Packers coming out the AFC. I mean, NFC. Okay, okay. And who's going to win that one? Who I want to win is a whole different thing from who's going to win. So we got a few different predictions right here. He got the Ravens versus the Packers in the uh, Super Bowl championship. And I got the Ravens versus the Eagles with the Eagles winning that. No, I don't have them winning the Super Bowl. Let's go back to the beginning. Uh, you got them. You have to. This is how I would do mine. A little bit different. Who you got winning? Hold on. Just calm down a little bit, son. <laughs> See who you got there. All right. I think that's how we set it up. I think that's how we go. That looks good right there. Realistically, I got them being now. Got them being now. Boom. So you got this division right here, the best team in the record. Or they're the best team, then you got them in there. You got to have the Bills winning that. Of course not. I got the most cold blooded quarterback <laughs> in the league going winning that game. I don't think they'll make it past that one, so I get them like that. Hey, oh, he's gonna drop the Steelers. Steelers. So I got the black and yellow in there. 
Psych. Let me put the Patriots in there. Two passing teams in the Super Bowl? My prediction would be the Patriots versus Green Bay. So let's go back to the discussion we had earlier. Well, let's just switch something else, else up. We're going to stick this right here and just talk about my Super Bowl prediction right now. Okay. And let's, how be. let's bring that to the discussion. So you board. got, of course, the best known quarterback in the last decade. Mr. Brady. Mr. Brady. Last 10 years. Three championships. Uh, you know, he got all his weapons with him. He, I, I think he got a nice team with him. He got two tight ends that could catch like receivers. Wes Walker. Only thing they might be missing is that potent running back attack. But, of course, like I stated previously, you don't always need to have that running back attack to be a good team. Of course, this league is now moving towards a more quarterback oriented league, and you got all the receivers. Just as Green Bay got all receivers and okay running back and Starks. Well, I think that line, that matchup right there would be a nice shootout. The score might be 50, 50, 50 points versus like 49, but... 50 apiece, you think? At least 50 apiece, but that would be my prediction. What about, how would you switch that board up? I'm going to switch that up a little bit. Move these back around. Put my, put my Eagles right there. Take these Packers down one notch. Wait, hold on. You might have to move them down here. Right here. Wait. Oh, shoot. I got the wrong thing yeah. in the jiggies. So that would be on your Super Bowl. Yeah. Let's talk about that Super Bowl. Earlier. Ravens versus the Eagles. That's what it's going to be. I'll talk about it. I mean, how do you well, predict that? Well, I believe the Eagles are definitely got everything they need to go to the Super Bowl. They got the quarterback, one of the best quarterbacks in the league. He's no Tom Brady or nothing, but he gets mm -hmm. the job done. Right. Move on their feet. Accuracy's there. And LaShawn McCoy, one of the best running backs in the league. I believe he scored a touchdown in every game this season so far. So that's kind of crazy. Got the wide receivers. The defense is there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They say defense wins games. So the only thing I'm saying about uh, Green Bay this year, I think they got a little lucky last year, especially with all the people on injury reserve. So this year I don't think they're going to do it again. I think the Eagles is one of the teams to beat the, that's going to beat the Packers for sure. Mm -hmm. So I got the prediction of the Eagles taking down the Ravens in the Super Bowl. I say the score will probably be 24-14. And I got one question. So we got this board going. So who on this board right here that have didn't make the playoffs in your mind could slip into the playoffs? Well, we definitely got the Brett, the uh, Bears. They can definitely slip in there. They got one of the best defenses in the league. We also got the Jets. They can slip in there. And, I mean, if the Panthers start winning some games with Cam Newton, he's done pretty good this year, especially for a rookie. They can definitely slip in there. In the playoffs, not in the Super Bowl, but they can slip in the playoffs. Who do you think? I think New, 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 um, New York, they got a real chance to slip in there. It's just their division is kind of hard. I'm like, ah. Then the Falcons, they're always a steady team depending on how their bye week went and everything like that. They could probably be a, be a, a wild card team. And I say on this side of the board, uh, you know, it's I, I definitely agree with the Jets as well. And I don't see really no other team that's really serious. You know, what really I mean? has a chance. Really, really Speaking serious. Speaking of the Falcons, I actually looked over them a little bit. Man, they picked up Julio Jones, and it was one of the teams predicted this year to go to the Super Bowl. But they've been they've been slipping a little bit. What, how you feel about the Falcons, my friend? I think the Falcons they just needed time to put everything together. Uh, with Julio Jones coming in, of course, and they already had Matt Ryan, and of course they had Roddy White. Uh, Gonzalez, they have pieces to be a good. To Michael Turner, you can't forget about their stud running back. The burner, <laughs> you know, and, and then they picked up defensive um, people. So of course, they I think they made a serious push. Look at what all they gave away to get Julio Jones. They gave away draft picks just to Man. say, okay, we're it's our time. We got the quarterback. Let's get the receivers. Let's get everything set to go. So I think they're going in the right direction. But I think if it's not this year that they make because last year, of course, of course it was. Uh, in Pretty a race close. to win, you know, so they may have took a step back, but I think next year they, they'll take two steps forward, and I think they might be a good team a good team to compete with at least Green Bay next year, hopefully. <laughs> uh, Falcons versus Green Bay. That's Falcons a nice versus game Green Bay. Too. All right. And on this whole board, of course, and I mean, we're going to go back to this, back to this, back to this. Out of these people on this team, on this board, who do you think made the best and most improvement? Out of everybody on this board? Mm-hmm. Best improvement. Hmm. Let me think about that one second. Even though the Panthers haven't been winning with Cam Newton, he's definitely been producing and they've been coming close to a lot of games. 
I believe next year, once they pick up a couple more pieces, they definitely definitely will be in the playoffs for sure. Maybe pick up a couple more defensive players because the offense is set. They just need to work mm-hmm. on that defense a little bit. But they've definitely made a lot of improvement. So on this, on this, and this is not a silly question. Who on this board do you think need luck? And that's not luck, being lucky, but the quarterback luck from Stanford. Stanford? Mm-hmm. Number one top rated quarterback prospect right now, maybe be the number one draft pick. If I look at this board and you go up and down the board, up and down the board, I'm gonna go back to, <laughs> to Seahawks because <laughs> you know they got they got Kevin Cobb. Uh, they might need help too. Cam Newton, they got of course. Um, Which team? <laughs> no, my own team. No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, they got uh, Ponder. They got a young quarterback. They got a young quarterback. They got a young quarterback. I think, I mean, they got T-Jack, so I think they might be the most, you know. And then, of course, you go back here. Of course, if Manning don't come back and get, get it, be healthy, they <laughs> got the most realistic shot to get it. And it ain't that ironic how they go from having, of course, uh, the best quarterback known in the last ten, a decade or what have you to, to maybe a possibility to get the best quarterback in college right now. That's true. I can't believe they haven't won a game this year yet. The freaking Colts. That is crazy. Not one game. Haven't won one game. That's lets you know how important how much he was. Mr. Manning was holding that team on his shoulders. He was carrying the whole team. Huh? Right. That's crazy. So I think that's enough about football. All right. Let's move on to some basketball. Basketball. So I mean, right now at this time, I'm sitting around waiting. Maybe maybe in past years you had a month of uh, of of training camp going on, and the season would have started like last week. And with this season not starting, I mean it's kind of like oh man, because of course I want to see how my rookies do. I want to see <laughs> how uh, Ricky Rubio and of course the small before we picked up. How is they really gonna do in the league? And then you got the uh, coach coming in. Uh, Rick Adelman coming in. I mean, I'm just excited to get everything started, but it don't seem like they're going to start anywhere before Christmas, you know. And it's so, looking rough. It's, looking rough. <laughs> it's not looking good. My NFL prediction was off, but I I mean, if we rewind the tapes, I said January 1st, maybe we'll start the NBA season. So it's Man. looking like it's getting around that time. I don't know when they're going to get this NBA lockout over. Same deal that was with the uh, NFL lockout. The uh, owners want more money. More money. Man, it's crazy. Hopefully they get it started soon. You know what my thoughts about it is? What's that? They're, uh, uh, of course, uh, how do I put this? They're a bunch of people that make a lot of money off of a lot of games. They're missing out of games right now that if you, if you really do the calculation for it, how many people go to an NBA game? Like 20, 30,000 thousand people go to games. They're paying at least 70, average $70 per ticket. And let's just say 100 to make the math, math right. So they're missing out on hundreds of thousands of dollars just by one game, they probably missed God knows how many games. They're missing money right now. The hot dogs, are, candy, hot dogs cotton candy, the <laughs> beer for $10. <laughs> how many man. beers for $10 can you sell to make up your money? That's crazy. So I think as of right now, they're they're rich and rich going after I mean, I, I side with the players right now, of course. But, I mean, just because the owners is like the owners, they got all the money. Yeah, they making way more money already. <laughs> they already making way more money than the players. And I think I mean, they're just trying to split this billion dollars and see where the billion dollars go to. I mean, hey, I give it to the, the give, I don't really see. Give it to the well, fans. Lower the ticket prices somehow and then give it to the fans. Let them just somehow reap some benefits from it. Maybe that's give true. it to some underprivileged children that need to go to some games. Give them some. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. Do something uh, with that require heart. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Donations. <laughs> Donations. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying, I don't really see the point arguing. I mean, if, if you can afford to pay somebody $100, $200 million a year, I don't see what your what your argument is. You, you live in luxurious. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I say let's go back. Fantasy football. I'll be the fantasy football owner. Y'all give me the money, I'll make the money. You see how my team going, 5-3 and three right now? I'll probably lose the day, but, hey, what can you do about that? Can't win them all. Hey, I just need one sleeper from you for the rest of the year from fantasy football. One sleeper right here. No, right now if you could pick one player that nobody know about to finish your fantasy football year, where would you go? That nobody knows about? Right now in the middle of the season. Dang. That's already been picked or that's in the free agency? In free agency. Dang. In our free agency. It could be who you think may be in free agency. Yeah, right? I might have to pick Marshawn Lynch back up, you know. I dropped him last week because um, <laughs> I started him. He didn't play. 
Now he's playing, getting some decent yardage and touchdowns. Hey, I just I say one word before we go off. Uh, I just want to thank y'all for coming back to another week of the bandwagon with your boy Vlad and Everett. Of course, hit us up on Facebook and if you have it, Twitter. But one word, two words. I'm sorry, Jay Simpson. Jay Simpson, Jerome Simpson. <laughs> <laughs>